Tropical soda apple is an evergreen shrub native to parts of South America. It was first officially identified in Australia in the Maclay Valley on the mid-north coast of New South Wales in 2010. Subsequent surveys have identified other infestations in surrounding areas, including the Clarence, Arara and Richmond River catchments. Isolated outbreaks have also been recorded in Queensland. So far to date, tropical soda apple has not been recorded in the central or far western parts of New South Wales. However, isolated infestations have been identified in Narrabri, Gunnedah and Tamworth in the state's northwest. These occurrences have been attributed to cattle movements. Tropical soda apple is an upright perennial shrub that grows to 2 metres. It has cream coloured thorns up to 12 millimetres long on most parts of the plant. Leaves are 10 to 20 centimetres long and 6 to 16 centimetres wide with fine hairs. Flowering occurs year round and they are white with five petals and develop in clusters below the leaves. Fruit are up to 3 centimetres in diameter and have a mottled green appearance when immature, ripening to yellow. They contain between 200 and 400 small seeds, about 3 millimetres across. They are extremely sticky and readily adhere to most surfaces, including animal hooves and coats. It is said a plant can produce as many as 45,000 seeds per year. The sweet smell of the fruit attracts animals and seeds pass through the digestive system unharmed and will germinate in dung and droppings. The plant itself is unpalatable to livestock. However, the fruit is readily eaten and subsequently spread by cattle, feral pigs, deer and birds. Movement by water through flood events also contributes to the spread of tropical soda apple. It invades open to semi-shaded areas including pastures, forests, riparian zones, roadsides, recreational areas, horticultural and cropping areas in a wide variety of soils. It reduces biodiversity in natural areas by displacing native plants and disrupting ecological processes. The prickles on the plant restrict native animals and stock from grazing and can create a physical barrier to animals, preventing movement to shade and water. Tropical soda apple is a declared class one weed across the state, which means the plant must be eradicated from the land and the land must be kept free of the plant. Under a class one declaration, Tropical soda apple is a notifiable weed and you must contact your local weeds officer or the Department of Primary Industries within 24 hours of its discovery.